they had a rise up against the gray uh in gray oil, which is uh a barrel black line gray. And I said, why because they are tired of the policy and they're tired of the bullying tactics that America has put on the whole world now. Because America is the only nation that have military bases and a military presence all around the world. Now. You know what I'm saying? Any other nation outside of other democracy that uh, America has, has been doing because America has uh, alienated, you know, pretty much all its allies except for Israel. And, and these nations are very tired of America and they want to see this place go down. And this place is going to go down with uh, thermonuclear missiles and to get another scripture uh, go to another big scripture which is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and it's going to and I you know, read the scripture this morning but I'm going to go through it again because it's very prevalent to the left you know about the fall of Babylon you know what I'm saying like I'm saying in the, the video I did this morning you know what I'm saying it, it's, it's a very good chapter about, uh, about Babylon, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and start at the top, you know what I'm saying? You know that this lesson is about uh, Revelation chapter 18, but we're going to give a couple of other scriptures uh, to substantiate that Babylon and the bread. So if we go to fall, we're going to fall in the body of man, in the body of man. You know, we're going to start. at the top, you know, Jeremiah 51 and 1, you know, as I said before, uh, you know, for those who wake it up in the truth to understand the fall of America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, you know, a very good chapter read in Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, you know, and it reads, thus said, thus said Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. And then what they're destroying when it's talking about, basically, it's talking about those thermonuclear missiles. But you got to understand there's two, there's two different Babylons that are mentioned in the scripture. You got the original Babylon, and then you got Babylon the Great, which is America. And, and uh, the original Babylon is located in Iraq, you know what I'm saying? But we know that it's not talking about that Babylon, it's about that Babylon that, that was first empire, you know, that's still standing right today, you know, that's, that's located, I believe, I say, in Iraq, but this Babylon that this, that Jeremiah is talking about, Jeremiah 51st chapter is talking about the daughter of Babylon, which is Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, you know what I'm saying, this is a future prophecy that Jeremiah had, you know, is uh, handed down, you know what I'm saying, it, it's saying in his book, uh, this is talking about the second Babylon, which is Babylon the Great, and, and that city that reigned over the kings of the earth, they're talking about America because America has a military presence all over the globe, man. And America is this one that leads the uh, European Union, which you can see that it's a uh, that that is a uh, come to par as the outside in the book of Daniel about the tin, the, the, the toes with the this with iron and clay. About the European Union, that's all the war, but you know, that was there. This, this first year, they're talking about the business that's going to be Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, the book of Revelation tells us that, uh, you know, it's going to be 200,000 times a thousand, which is going to be 200 million missiles that's going to finish this place off. Uh, let's go ahead and go to verse 2, Jeremiah 51 and 2. And it reads, I will send back unto Babylon mariners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. Any day of trouble, they shall be against the roundabout because the other nations are going to be one that's going to be shooting uh, nuclear missiles over there, them ICBMs. And, and they're going to come over here and they're and, and, and going to destroy this place. You know, this is, uh, you know, the, this, this verse reads, against him that being it, that they ought to be in his boat, and against him that live, live uh, that lifted himself up in his rending, uh, I can't tell if not the word, rend, rend, uh, rigadine, and it's very you not for a man destroy, destroy ye utterly all her hopes, and, 
And when he errors, you dead, dead, not going to regard, you know, the, the old and the young man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody going to get it. They're not beamed up in the chariots, you know, when you house our return. And, and those who left here, you know, back on the grave, when the pressure comes, they're going to be just destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Because they play back on the grave. Chapter 17, it said, you know, it tells us, you know, they, they're going to eat a flesh and burn a fire, meaning that they're going to be struck by the on the break. But this thermal nuclear missile, you know what I'm saying? And they're not going to regard any, any, any team or princess, for instance, meaning that them, you know, while they Democratic vote, anybody that, that's here by the on the break, when the thermal nuclear missile hit, they're going to destroy everything, man. Right? Uh, this, this place here is going to be a, a, a desert heat. You know what I'm saying? Only a uh, desert creek is going to be the weather in the house, but, you know, this place has been destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all these nations got a controversy getting Babylon the Great. And why is this? Because Babylon the Great is the one that has been oppressing, you know, the whole world, man. And the leaders and those who run the world and these all either, man. So called white man. In his uh, main base is over here in Babylon the Great, aka America. But you know the, the uh, you know the uh, Amalekites is over there in Israel now. You know over there in Israel, Israel is going to get you know is going to get a taste of it too. But not as violent as uh, Babylon the Great, aka America. America is really going to be be the target of, of all the numbers of this because you know. Babylon the Great is coming to the end of the most high your house while the ship y'all shot. Then he's going to quiet his indignation, which is going to be the ICBM, along with y'all shot coming back with the chariots. And, 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 you know, and, and they're going to put that work in uh, on the world, you know, mainly here in Babylon the Great, too. But it's going to be the greatest uh, that we're talking about, man. Not the first one who had actually left the land of Egypt about four or five years. It's gonna be a great answer to get to the point that that uh, uh that's gonna be talked about, man. That that the first answer is gonna be, you know, if not more uh trip to the greatness of this answer does here in Babylon the Great that we're gonna be delivered, man, you know, the day of the year. Talk about flee out of Babylon. We are we already know that our land 
the land of Israel and just been trying on the foot under the Gentiles. You got those uh, those uh, fake Israelis over there, and you got uh, uh and, and you got uh, uh you got the uh, the, the Palestinians over there, and they fight over that land, which is not theirs anyway. So y'all about to see them outside on the destroyed it, destroy uh, them, them off that land because that land belongs to these chosen people. When you're talking about free out of Babylon, you're talking about spiritually free out of the, the ways and the customs that our people been used to. But we already know that a lot of two-thirds of our people are not going to be out of the ways of Babylon and the So, so they're going to end up being destroyed right along with the place. And, and like I said before, hey, Babylon is it, a golden cup in your house of hand, which we're going to go ahead and read that in that verse. In verse 7, and it reads, Babylon has been a golden cup in your house of hand that made all the earth drunk in thee. All the earth drunk in the nations have drunk in the wine, therefore the nations are mad. You know what I'm saying? All these other nations took out the, out the, the philosophy of Babylon the Great, you know, aka America. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? And all the other nations are gonna get gonna get judged too. Because they partake with uh, America Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying, helping with the downfall of Israel. You know, because all nations have took part of our downfall, and even though that we disobeyed the law that you command to y'all by the same out shot, but the other nations took a step further by, you know, being being on sides with Esau Edom, man, with the be on side with uh, Babylon the Great to, to make sure that we didn't know who we were as a people. Man. You know what I'm saying? They they knew who we were the whole time, but yet they refused to tell us who we were. And not not since uh, the Supreme Power Yah by Shem Al Shai had woken us up, you know, to the truth, truth of who we are. You know, all these other nations now they're scared, man. Why? Because they know that that they time is at the end, man, especially he saw he took our white man. Especially on Amalekites, which are fake Jews over there. You know what I'm saying? They know that their time is up. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why they push it for this fascination and all these other things. That's the reason why they push it for this second shutdown of Babylon and Rape because, because they know that their time is up. And they and, and these elite bankers are ready to put a plug here on America because America has no more use for them anymore. And that's the reason why you're seeing. That push this second wave of this coronavirus and all these other uh, all these other things that are going on. But you know what I'm saying? But it's the will of y'all by the same outside that these people you know, are, are gonna feel his wrath, man. Especially in Babylon the Great, because you see that the plagues are going on over in the Middle East and then you had, you know, then shot a uh, rocket over there in in you know uh, the man. You know what I'm saying? All these things are beginning to follow. All these things that go on, you know, over there in the Middle East, it's going to get over here in Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? Why is most high sparing Babylon the Great? Because he has a special judgment for Babylon the Great. Because Babylon the Great, yeah, they want to feel the wrath too. But, but they're going to really get the special treatment with the uh, Thurman Nuclear Missile, with the ICBMs there. They're going to be, to, they're going to be 200 million missiles that are going to destroy this place. Saying when it talks about free out of Babylon, you know what I'm saying? It talks about, you know, spirit to keep your mind right, man, when you how about your mouth shot, but only Israel is the only people that can repent, but only the only the elect of Israel is going to repent, and they're going to come to the wisdom and not to your how about your mouth shot. You know what I'm saying? And all these other nations follow the philosophy of Babylon the Great, you know what I'm saying? But they're going to they gonna feel it too. But not as severe as uh, Babylon is, not as severe as, the, you know, America is going to be. America is going to get the harshest punishment. You know what I'm saying? All the other nations, they're going to get their punishment, but not as harsh as uh, Babylon the Great. But let's just continue on. This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 8. And it reads, Babylon is suddenly falling and destroy a house where they fall for pain, and so she may be healed. We will have here Babylon, but she is not here. The sacred, they let us go everyone to his own country, for judgment reach unto Sophia and unto heaven. 
and he has lifted it up even to the sky. And that tells you that, that the judgment of Babylon bread which will reach unto heaven. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get that in Revelation chapter 18, which is going to be familiar, uh, you know, the familiar uh, uh, chapter that the lesson is going to be about. It may be a uh, two or three part lesson. That's it. It's pretty hard about it. It's not allowed. But we're going to take over the spirit right now. And the scripture that came to mind, came to mind about Babylon great. Isaiah 47, and it will start at the top. You know what I'm saying? And this is talking about Babylon and the Great, but he's going to be referred to as the daughter of Babylon. And, and he reads, Come down and see, and he does, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no thorn or daughter of the child in, but that for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstone and grind mill, uncover thy locks. Make bear the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the ribs. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame, shame shall, be, shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and, and I will not be thee as a man. And, and, and they're talking about, uh, you know, Babylon the Great because they've been exposed on every level. And, and the ones that are ruling the, the world right now, they definitely be exposed. They definitely be in question about a lot of the wickedness that they have done throughout the planet. And, and, and it got to the point that, that, that if you all, uh, if you all American citizens, you know, these countries not going to allow you to come to the state war. You know what I'm saying? I seen a video on that. They showed a, a chart on on, uh, on the whole globe, and, and the red area showed that uh, America, aka those who are Americans, you know, what I'm saying they were not allowed to hit their border. There's only a few exceptions, you know. That was the green, you know. That was less, you know. These nations are tired of America. Man. The how watch him out. Also tired of America. So, so he, so he. Uh, Save America and restore America. Now you 
ain't sent God's out there to destroy America, man, to destroy this wicked kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? That I that I quote the scripture, both more to them that uh, that desire to tell you how what's gonna be in it for you. It's gonna be death and destruction, what's gonna be in it for you. If you ain't if you ain't no uh, deal left of Israel, then you ain't prepared to turn back to your power. And all people that can be prepared to turn back to their power is uh is the Israelites, man. But only the elect is gonna be saved when they can be beaten up out of here, man. But let's just continue on with Revelation chapter 18, verse 1. And it reads, and after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was light with his glory. And he cried mightily with his strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and become the habitation of the devil, and they hold of every foul spirit, and they cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And they're talking about the downfall of your Babylon the great, because when it says that it's the habitation of the devil, be that. It's, it's, it's a lot of wicked spirits that are here, you know, and the ones that are ruling is Esau here, man, because, you know, they you know they are the devil that the Bible speaks of, man, because of all their unrighteous decrees and all, all their un, unrighteous laws that they go in the past, especially, you know, if it's if it laws that passed the King Jake in the bottom, man, you know what I'm saying? And, and besides the different society, you can do whatever you want to do, you know what I'm saying? Long, long, you ain't teaching the truth. You can do anything else, but if you start teaching the truth, you start telling our telling the people they judge me and our people repent and turn back to their power, you know, they have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? They have a problem with righteousness. Why? Because this country it it, it was built on bloodshed, man. You know, bloodshed of, of our people, man. You know, the tribe of Gad, man, they 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 was inherited of this land. And, you know, he, he saw you know, you know, led by Christopher Columbus came over here and, and, and massacred, you know, the uh, the Native American man who tried to try to gag and took took their land, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the way that this land was built in great violence, this, this land is gonna get thrown down with great violence, man. And that's and that's in Revelation 18, 21, that's probably be, you know, how when it might be in part two of the lesson. But you know, we're gonna go ahead and you know, this is verse 3. It, it's read, For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are white, white, rich, and the one that is the dead disease. That means that all these nations of the nations have benefited all the world because the world is known as the one of It's like a train country, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a common you know, all these nations, they strain for the barrel. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, goods and words. You know, all the other nations trade with America, Babylon, the Great. You know what I'm saying? They know America, Babylon, the Great. They take on they, you know, they take their goods and everything else. They can trade because America is is, is the richest country. You know, which which is third of the world country on the face in the face of the world, man. You know, as one of I think they had on Hell and Mouth on the scene, but Jim mentioned five of them. He said America is uh, the rich and third world country in the world, man. So uh, you know, you got the other nation, they they trade with with, with uh they, they 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 basically, you know, they get rich to America, man. America like the America is a great war that you use, but you don't marry them. And that's what the other nations come to find out that, you know, they use America. You know, you know what I'm saying? But they not start to see what America really is. They start to, to uh, you know, separate themselves from America. You know, by mom or great. You know, and this is verse 4. And this is, and this is uh, to our people. You know what I'm saying? This is to you Israelites. I think you need to listen up to this. And I heard they know what from heaven said, come out of her for the people, that you be not partake of what we're saying, that you see not a place. And, and that, that, that's, uh, that's a destruction to our people because our people, the Israelites, we call you black Latino, they were Americans. You know what I'm saying? This it, it, is talking to you because, guess what? You're you supposed to separate from these other nations, man. 
Listen, Babylon, the rain, man, you, you got to come out of a way, man. You got to repay the coming out of, out of, you know, celebrate these holidays and, get, you know, spend part of these different religions. You got to come out of there, man. You got to, you don't come out of there, you want to see the crowd when you have about she now it's out. You know what I'm saying? You know, you have about she now it's out. I've been sending prophets out there to want, want our people to repent and come back to their power. But we already know that they're not going to listen. They want to hang on to the ways and the customs of, of Babylon the Great, what we just talked about the two thirds, and they're going to end up being destroyed, man. And they're going to be destroyed with a great destruction. And you know, if I see my child, I'm going to have the mercy of my people, man, on the two thirds. Because the two thirds are going to give them the profit, man. And, 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 and the two thirds are without excuse. You know what I'm saying? Then you know, we're going to read Revelation chapter 18, verse 4 again. And, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you see none of her plagues. Where sin has been turned to heaven, and Yahweh remember her differences. And we read that in uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, uh, verse 7, when it says that Babylon has been the golden cup. And Yahweh's hand, man. And you know what I'm saying? Yahweh remember her differences. Of sin, and all the wickedness that this place has done, has been turned to heaven. Unto the, uh, the, the, where your house was at, and the, and your house was bringing judgment on one Babylon great, even though he bring judgment around the world, for America of Babylon great is going to get that special judgment. And they're going to get the America of Babylon great, he's going to get hit the hardest with no time to do the You know what I'm saying? And, and, and when, it, when it does fall, it's going to fall in the body, in the body of the mountain, man. That's why we tell our people. Because, you know, Yahweh was going to destroy this place, man. Just like he destroyed over to Sodom and Gomorrah and where Lot was there. And he, he told Lot to come out of this place. He, he overthrowed over Sodom and Gomorrah. But the world of Babylon the Great going to get overthrown. But it's going to be a big time person in Sodom and Gomorrah, man. You know what I'm saying? This place is going to be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Yahweh, Shema, Shah, allow America to be 
get to reach, you know, their glory. You know, they 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 glorify, but you know what I'm saying? But they, you know, these Americans, they look up and say, Oh, y'all about to see me You know, they 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 the most high. You know what I'm saying? They they swear upon the Bible, man, but they don't hear to the laws for y'all about to see me out shot. And and they don't believe that they wanna be judged, man. And y'all about to see me out shot, judge the world for Babylon the tree. You know what I'm you see that that infrastructure is uh is being broken down, man. You see that the stores and things are closed, and you see that that the that, that America is uh over twenty two trillion dollars in debt. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things that are going on here in Babylon the Great, man. And, and America has the nerve to walk the great pride. We're gonna read up Revelation 18 and 7 again. How much she has glorified herself being that she lifted herself. If you have delicious, she means that she believes that she's in good case. You know, so much to a man's sorrow will give her. You know, you see, you see that the coronavirus shut this place down, man. You said for she said in her heart, this is what she said, I see the queen and the widow and said, see no sorrow means that she don't believe that she could be touched, man. You know what I'm saying? She she means that she's not gonna be touched by y'all by she mouth shot, but she's sadly mistaken. Talking about Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? After here, if you're not in the Israel, you're going to be touched by the Most High, man. And not in a good way either. You know what I'm saying? Your Alpha Shim Al Shai got a special judgment for the miracle of Babylon the Great. If you don't believe it, you're going to see this in the prayer of what's going on. All the things that you see going on in the other countries, man. You know, like the locals, all this stuff is going to be in Babylon. Don't don't think America five hundred is not gonna feel the crowd. They're gonna really feel it, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they they believe that they they, they can't be touched, man. They believe that the most high is not gonna do nothing to them. They think all the stuff that they did to the most high chosen people who try to give them life, they think they gonna get away with it, man. You know, especially he's all you know, he, he really thinks he's gonna get away with a lot of crime that he done. Y'all about to be outside, gonna, gonna do something to him too. You know what I'm saying? He's he not gonna get off the book. This is uh, Revelation 18 and 8. It says, Therefore, her place should come to one day, death, mourning, and famine. But she said, Oh, it's not gonna be fire. But it's done. It's the house of power. Judge her. And these things gonna hit them back and back on the great the heart. You know what I'm saying? We already see seeing death. Babylon the Great, aka America. You know what I'm saying? 
and and most high gonna put a spirit on these other nations to shoot the nuclear missiles. And, and, and it's gonna destroy this place, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and these other nations, they gonna cry, cry in the midst of Babylon the Great, not only because they realize that that they that, that, uh that they Jeremiah come to the end, you know, they gonna they gonna cry out of relief because this place was well, what well, you know what I'm saying, well was the one had been oppressing them, man. But then afterward, they're going to realize that it's going to be the end for them as well. I mean, they, they're going to go back to that uh, that uh, slavery uh, state, man. You know, when your house shall return, they're going to go back to being in the bottom. You know what I'm saying? They're going to go back to being tributaries, man, until the children of Israel. But let's just continue on. It says, stand afar off of the fear of a torpid land, a last last, that great city of Babylon. That mighty city for one hour, not just come. That means most high will show the place in an hour, man. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna be the third nuclear missile. He's gonna be the chariot. That's gonna be beam. That's gonna beam up their lip, but they're gonna be shooting laser beams on, you know, to the wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, zapping them into power, man. It's gonna be a lot that's gonna be going on here in Babylon the Great, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a lot. And, 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 uh, the other nation, you know, you have something they're going to witness it up close and personal, man, that this place is going to be the 